We got stuff to discuss. I better put some chocolate in me. What is this? This is a Sproud. Sproud? What the heck is Sproud? Po oh, Sproud. Powered by peas. What the heck does this say? Sproud chocolate flavored. One liter. Uh, ingredients. Water, sugar. Non-GMO. Canola oil. Ooh, I don't like canola oil. I can't get a lot of this canola oil. Ooh, that's the kind of made-up Canadian stuff, right? Protein from peas. Okay, it's protein from peas. They say from peas. Cacao, agave syrup. Oh, I tasted it before. That's what I probably tasted agave. I'm not into agave either. I guess they say it agave. Natural aromas. Gluten-free. Oat oil. Calcium carbonate. Salt. Vitamin A, vitamin B12, vitamin B12, I get that anyway, vitamin D. So, uh, I don't know, I, don't just, I, I, I always try stuff. I don't know, the sugar, the canola oil, protein from pea, uh, plant-based milk chocolate flavor. I put some extra chocolate, I put some chocolate syrup in there. That thing, the chocolate syrup is like non-everything, you know, you don't have nothing in it, no GMO, nothing like that. But hey, sometimes you got to compromise because I got to have my chocolate. Well, this this is a chocolate thing. Look, let me I get some paper. I gotta stay up here for a second. Hold on a second. I had to make some notes. <laughs> you know, I'm just really ran, 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 ran. But then I gotta make some hold on there. Yeah, I make some notes. I had to take some notes. Oh, oh, as I recorded, this is Mr. Neely Jr. Fuller's breath day. Yeah, he took a breath this day. It was He was born on a Monday. Guess who else is born on Monday? That's right, a Monday. Back then, 1929. 1929. It makes him 91 years old today as we record this. Wow. Hey. <laughs> there was something there was something about the people that were born between say 1925 and 1935 that's called 1921 and 1935 the, the, all the people that came through that you know you know Malcolm Martin you know I don't know anybody you know uh, all kinds of people I, you know you know the still I rise lady you know a bunch of people man a lot of people Martin a bunch of people were born there. I took notes. I don't know why I got these glasses on. I can't see with these glasses. I have my little, I don't have my reading glasses. My reading glasses are up there where I read it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I mentioned this nearly for you because I follow, let me put it this way. I'm a DOS, okay? When I say I'm a DOS, uh, uh, American, well, they say American descendant of slavery, right? I, 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 I'm sorry, let me back up. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has this thing where he says, you know, uh, you know, if you don't understand uh, uh, white white supremacy, which is racism, then you won't understand anything. Basically, that's what it says, right? But I, I like any good academic, I'm not claiming, well, any good academic, you take that the original theory and without destroying it, you want to enhance it. So I say that it's just, that if you don't understand, he said, you don't understand the system of um, white supremacy, which is racism, blah, 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 blah. I say it's a system of Anglo racist, I put a line to racist, white supremacy. All right? You say, well, you, you Anglo and white supremacy, is Anglo? No, 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 you understand. It's a made up construct, right? The Anglo part is that the people who benefit from it when they first when it first when it first conglomerated, <laughs> amalgamated here in this, it started in the United States, you know, amalgamated in the States, right? That's when you had that that, that the people who amalgamated first was the Anglo's, right? And they got that. So therefore, they're always going to benefit as you enter as it's going to be. You see, but because it's a system, the system can be gamed. And over the years, even when it started with those Anglo's, those are basically what uh, English Protestant Anglo's, I don't know, whatever. I don't 
I don't know, Spanish Anglos, whatever the Anglos were. But as things kept, you know, when 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 they, when the, when the Irish came in, the Irish had to become they were Irish, but then they had to become Anglos. You know, what I mean, the Italians had to become you know Italians, but they had to become Anglos. You know, everybody, you know. So what happens is now that Anglo, right, can you can replace it with anything. You know, right now we have Kamala doing her thing. Well, yeah, she's black, but she's Indian, so she's Indian. See? Racist white supremacist, right? I mean, you might have something like, you know, to say Chinese race the, no, the Chinese gain the system of racist white supremacy, right? Black people <laughs> Black Americans can game the system of a racist white supremacy. A ADOS person can game the system. I mean, they won't be. Uh, you, you see what I'm saying? So any. So when I put that thing in there, that that, that qualifier, that adjective <laughs> before the racist white supremacy, those are people that are gaming the system now throughout the years because it's a system. So if you wanted this thing to change, now that you have to tear, you have to tear down the entire system because anybody can game that system. You got it? Okay. Now. The same thing when I took at ADOS. The, the accurate, okay, the, uh, when the, 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 the progenitors of, this, of, of the place, you know, Tony Moore, Yvette Cornell, uh, to a certain, well, I guess you would say Reverend Cosby, right? Uh, the person, the research person is Darity, but he didn't really come up with that name, right? So the name uh, 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 American descendants of slavery that's the accurate dis uh, description of the lineage right but for me i like to qualify it even more in other words i'm not taking it away i'm qualifying it more so i would say the north american descendants of chattel slavery that's so specific you can't get around that right now no, i think i got my sign up see and here it is so uh uh Eidos, american descendants of slavery right but you see at the north i got it cross i got it across out of the American descendants of, and then the shadow, I got it crossed there, and then slavery. You can't see it from there, but don't worry. Believe me, it's there. Okay? Well, a, a year, almost like, I think last November or something like that, I did, did what, what, what happened? What, well, look, I did a post. I did one of my AUS posts. And the, the post was, oh, I got it right here. November 11th, uh, 2019. I did a post that says, Tariq, be correct on ADOS, right? You can go check the post where it is, like it says, the title is on, on, on the ADOS uh, playlist stream. This is on the ADOS playlist stream and then on this channel, right? So Tariq, be correct on ADOS. And uh, it, it went, whole, went into this whole thing about whatever it said. Don't worry about this. Then the next day, <laughs> on the 12th, I put ADOS. So what's that? That treat be correct. It was uh, it was a long one. So it's like a uh, uh, thirty two minutes. Oh, well, let's call it this thirty to fifty eight seconds. Let's call it thirty three minutes, right? And it really had to do with with um, with personalities, with, with with the personality of Yvette and the tone and whatever have you, right? Then it came back the next day. A D O S Yvette be more correct. <laughs> <laughs> that was ten minutes <laughs> and fifty two seconds. I wish I should say that the the first Tariq be more correct. You know, it's like after the you, you can forget the third first thirteen minutes. It's, it, I, I meander. It's, it's, I don't worry. It, it explains the whole thing. But the next day is it was event be more correct. Okay, so now we have this beef. This beef. Now you have to let me let me be clear. Just be just clear the decks, right? Because I've been following ADOS. I mean, I've been following the event, um, event for a while since the um, um, what do you call it there, the the Minister Farrakhan thing, and uh, who else? And Tariq, I've been following just about a little after that, but I follow him for like entertainment purposes. So there's a lot of people out here to do to do their thing. Tariq has a certain thing that he does. You know, he can curse. He can he can you know call people names. He can make up names. <laughs> some, some, some hilarious, right? You know. Uh, then you have other people in the in well let's uh, let's not call the agents. let's talk let's talk in the um this whole movement that we're trying to how do we say you know uh, uh, destroy the system of, of racist white supremacy you know so you have like you have the B one brigade doing certain things you know what I mean um, like for instance Professor Black Truth I really respect him because he does his research he really does really good research right whereas you know Black Authority he just he just raw you know I just like the discipline he gives right. Um, and neither of them curse anything like that. 
and then you might, uh, and then you have a bunch of other. Then you might have who else is out there? There's there's a lot of people. There's other people out there doing doing their thing, right? Okay, and that to me they all. To me, I don't have any conflicts with any of them. It's just like, oh look, I'm wearing my. This is my. This is this is more of my Africa. I bought this long time ago. This is my one of my favorite tops. One of my favorite garments. You know, uh, you better crack on this. You know, dashiki wearing people. Blah blah blah. blah. Hey. All right, you know, I want to hear this shirt that I have on this this shirt down here. This is from uh, the C. Pico Foundation right there in Greensburg, uh, South Africa. Well, near King Williamstown, where there's a this whole Steve Pico Museum and whatever have you. It's worth worth seeing, whatever have you. So I got the so I'm wearing the Steve Pico thing like that. But here, this top here, it looks Nigerian, but it was really made by my wife. My wife is African, right? More importantly than I know, she's African, but she like original. She 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 come from the Psalm people, you know, on one side and, and and Zulu on the other side. So she like really African, African warrior, and, and you know, and some people, you know, the, the, some people, you know, with the little bow and arrows, with the original people. Some people say the original people on the planet. We won't get into all that, but the point is, I'm Pan African too, okay? So ADOS politically, I look for them to do certain things. Um, uh, I like to I like to be entertained by black, <laughs> black people, so we have stuff like that. Okay, I shouldn't say it that way, but something like that. Uh, 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 a a Pan African, I'm married. I can't be more Pan African than married to an African. You know what I mean? And and, and plus, I'm, I'm Hotep brother. You know, I'm Hotep. I'm all that stuff. But politically, I'm, at this particular moment, the, 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 what ADOS does, does do what they do. Now, because it's a political movement, but politics is policy. You may compromise or whatever have you. I have to do a mea culpa because I, I, I just got on, well, I say I just got on Instagram a few months ago. And, uh, you know, now I'm being like everybody else, reacting right away, not waiting and seeing, seeing what's, 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 what. So this brother was on there saying, yeah, this, this, uh, this, uh, a, a uh, uh, Assembly Bill uh, 3121 is garbage. It's blah 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 da da da. And then, so I heard, I heard the broadcast. I, I had made my comment to him. So blah blah blah. And I was, did you? I said, did you read it? My man. Well, I hadn't read it yet either. So me a couple sorry about that. And I did that whole Twitter mission emotional, uh, what is it, emotional thing. I didn't really do the research myself. So I'm at fault. Sorry about that. Then I listened to Tariq. And of course, I heard uh, Tom when, when he had a uh, uh, Marine Simmons on there. You know, I call her like in the, in the wheelhouse of, 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 of Cali House and, and Queen Mother Moore. Well, I got to take that back a little bit too, till we get to the. Na I guess we have to wait to the to the uh, what do you call it the national level, or what do you say the you know the the federal level because this is just a like thing. So whoever the federal person comes in, that's going to be the person that's up there with Queen Mother Moore and Cali House because they were clear about who they were dealing with. But uh, Marine Simmons. And along with um, along with the congressman, they allowed the lawyers, whoever else, to sneak. But as as Tariq correctly points out, to sneak this whole people of color thing, you know, or whatever the, the sneaky thing in there. But when it came to the, the actual reparations, right? And that, and so let this be a lesson. I guess it's the same thing that happened. It was in North Carolina when they had their little town that was going to give reparations, but the thing was kind of shady too. So we have to really safe guard against this. So when you get to the federal level, then it's like. You know, we got to be correct. It's only for A, D, O, S, North American descendants of child slavery. Nobody else. Not even I. I would say not even people that sit on these 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 uh these panels. You know, to 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 study it. Okay, I shouldn't say that because you have to study study from but you have to understand when a person is studying something, they're still looking through their lens. You know what I mean? So if you are, if you're a liberal white person, you try to say good. If you if you're going to be a, a uh, I don't know, uh, a person of color from India, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you're going to be, you, you see what I'm saying? So so say, for instance, I'm not saying this is going to happen. So say, for instance, um, uh, the Biden-Harris ticket wins, you know, Biden gets knocked out, you know, however he gets, you know, neutralized, you know, neutered or whatever have you. Harris becomes president. Now we have an Indian woman who 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 will actually be in charge of putting this panel together for ADOS. Right. But she's going to look at it from her Indian, her Brahmin kind of kind of view when she empowers this panel. You, you, you understand? Right. So we have to guard against all of that stuff. So I say all this, say, OK, so so Tariq went off and, and, and he Tariq was correct. You know, of course, he was correct in his way because, you know, I don't you know, you know, you know you, come on. You know how black people are. You know how we're black. OK, you know, you know how we are. Right. It's like fight. And he was like, ooh. Oh, 
And that's what's happening. <laughs> a year later, almost a year later to the to the whatever, because it's November. We're, we're in October right now. November. Then, then we have the same fight we had last that they had last year. Well, they, they have been beefing all, all the way through. You know what I mean? For some reason, I don't know. I try to tell. I tried. In fact, back then, back a little years ago, I told him. I said, they, "No, okay. Let me go. Let, let me leave, leave that stuff alone. You know what the deal is. You know what there's a fight going on, right?" But here's the thing. Listen to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. There's, there's things we have to we can take from for an elder. I know, like I said, when the event says it's this whole thing about the elders or whatever, or the old people or the dashiki where people, whatever it is, I, pff, I don't listen to it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, if Tariq say curse come at me and say something, I, pff, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm an old man. Who cares? You know, I know what the deal is, right? Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., whose birthday is again, it's a happy birthday. Um, he, he he deals with breath. You know what I mean? He says, this is the day he was, he, he breathed first. I get the same thing. It's weird. I said the same thing. My thing is, I call it my life day, but breath day is more than, because the first time you breathe, when you breathe, then you know that's life. You see? In fact, when I do my exercises, and, and, and outside exercises is the whole thing. He does the three breaths. I do the three breaths too. It's very interesting. Me and me and, me and Miss Neil, Neil are full of just like, just two peas in a pod. Well, not these kind of pieces. Not this part. I'm drink this. Wait a second. It's good though. I like this. Um, I keep you up there. One. I want to make sure I got my chocolate next to me. Chocolate on one side. My grand nephew on the other side. And real Jim Crow era black people right there. Hey, I like my set here. The American flag. Got my, you know. Uh, your black liberation flag there. I'm set. This is my set. Okay, Miss Neilful, like for instance, Yvette has what Miss Neilful system would call an open air system, right? Foundational Black American, which would be um, Tariq, has a four wall system. Okay, now four walls means you have a, you have a, you know, you have a building that you go to. I'm gonna expand that a little bit. Just, just think that. So that means that four walls means you have a leader. So basically, Tariq is the leader. You know what I mean? Now remember, he's he's foundational back him up, but he his his thing is more with the marketing, with 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 with, with economics and, and like that. You know, it's not necessarily political. Okay, I don't know everything's political, but you know what I'm saying. So so you know he's into the money. <laughs> he's into being the guy in charge. You know that 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 kind of thing. Okay, okay. But it's still a, a wall system, you know. If 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 you if you if you if Tariq if if Tariq is is, is removed, you know, if he, if he martyrs himself, which he seems to want to do, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, Tariq. Hey, don't come at me. Well, you can come at me. I don't care. You know, <laughs> oh God, I don't care. Um, but foundational Black Americans, which is what he's he's, he's calling his his movement for marketing. He's going to have a thing in Tulsa next year. But he's planning for it now. So hopefully, I probably won't make that one. I'll make the third one. I'm sorry to be. Well, maybe I'll make the second one. No, I'll make the third one, I think. You know, the year after that, next year, I'll, I'm definitely I'll go to, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, Ado's will have the conference. And that, that, that'll be the second one. I went to the first, I go to the second, I keep on going there. Okay, so he has what's called a four wall system under Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, code. That's his system. Um, Eidos has an open air system, which basically means there is no leader. I know we have pro we have the progenitors, okay? That would that, that would be Yvette and, and and Antonio. Those are the, the progenitors. It's different than being a leader. They're supposed to give us our whatever, whatever. But what happens with an open air system? And we we have it as nodes, you know, because all, our, all, all they, you call them chapters, I call them nodes, because I have this whole thing about this spider, this African spider that you know they 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 they, they cooperate, and they make the, they have the little nodes and they make the little web, they make them they make a huge web, they they put them all together, and they catch bigger fish and whatever have it. Very efficient system. So, but 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 Tariq, everything has to go through Tariq. You see what I'm saying? So he's just one one person that everybody gets the orders from him, his marching troops like that, but. For, so that's that's what we call a four wall system, but um, uh, but Ados, the North American Descendants of Channel Slavery, 
that's more that's what's called open air system where there is no real leader. So there's this so we basically bulletproof. You can't destroy it because the first it's an it's not just an ideology because first you identify. So even your little nodes can't be infiltrated by someone who is not a DOS. That's the real important point of this. Okay. Okay. Now, so that's it. That's all I want to say there. Now, here's what I do, right? Everybody goes with their thing. Here's what I do. I do what's called the numbers, right? I got to do the numbers, right? I don't know. Numerology is, I just, this is a parlor game, but it's just my thing, right? If I do the numbers for North American descendants of chattel slavery, if you add up the numbers, all you know, because how you edit the numbers is is um, the letters of the alphabet A seven. So so if it's A would be number one, B would be number two, like like that. You know what I mean? So if you add up numbers, right? Then what would happen? Let me I'll, I'll show it here just in case somebody wants a screenshot or something like that. What I what I've come up with. Don't worry about this. You won't know what it is. It won't it won't make you any difference. You know you won't know what it is. Just so you'll you'll see what I'm looking at. Now, North American sense of chattel slavery, that adds up to a number seven. Seven is spiritual. Okay? Very important to me. That's good. Hey, right. We're spiritual people. If you just do American descendants of slavery, it still comes up to a seven. Okay? So either way, it's still a seven. That's good. That's good. Well, that's, I think that's good, right? If you do foundational black Americans, right, it comes out to be a, a um, comes out to be a one. Want to be number one? You see, it comes out to be number one. Money is um, one is one is is like prosperity and money. That's what he. That's what that's what it is. So Tariq is correct in what he's trying to do. Foundation of Black Americans. I don't like to put black and stuff. That's my big problem with the whole thing. Even though I think it's a good name, it's a good descriptor, but hey, I got this thing about black, you know, where's like black and nigga and then I am it's a cease. Don't get me wrong, I like I love being a black I say black person all the time, you know what I mean? But it's something I think um uh Baba Huru he says something about black has the word lack in it. You're be lack. <laughs> You're be lack. You're lacking. We ain't lacking. Anyway, I'm gonna get it off with that. So this is so interesting because uh, North American descendants of chattel slavery is a spiritual movement. I, mean, I understand it's a political movement, but it's for a spiritual people, and that's why we had nobody can can get us because this is this whole spiritual thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand this, but if, well, no. What's interesting is that remember the progenitors don't seem to have a spiritual bent to them, but it was birth in. Uh, in St. Louis, in, in, in Simmons College, but, but more specifically with, with, with Reverend Cosby. So there's a spiritual element that, that, that was in that mix to begin with, you see? So, so, so it sort of works, okay? So what am I saying? I'm saying again, you know, hey, a couple of years off, off uh, you know, I, I, I don't, uh, my wife will get some business because she does the thing. I, I let her deal, I mean, well, we'll see what happens. You know, she do the African thing, you know, whatever it is, you know. Now, um, you know, that's when I'll do the foundation of black women. I actually got their, their hoodies back in Africa right now, the beautiful blue hoodie. I love that hoodie. I mean, I mean the color is so wonderful. So I'm, I'm part of them. And, uh, so in other words, let the teams fight. But like like I like like I said, I grew up black liberation, you know, the black power, the, uh, uh, you know, Pan-African, Hotep. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so I could be any of these things because remember, I'm on the ground. You know what I mean? I don't have to worry about these these positions where the people up there they, they fight whatever happens. When 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 we need the political stuff, I'm right there. Right? I'm not too into I'm not too into the monetary thing. Some other people have to do that. But so that's what's happening. I hope they <laughs> that they squash the beef because because they ain't gonna squash the beef. You know how you know, Come on, you know how those black people are. You know, squash nothing, man. You know, hey, like I like to say, I have another sign where it says, black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. Black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. That's the situation we have with foundational black American leader versus the progenitors of 
Oh, this is a child slavery. Okay, that's it. You know, it's all, it, when things are absurd to me, I laugh. This is how I cope. <laughs> I don't have any these psychological problems that people have because to me it's all absurd. Okay, this is like absurdity. Ah, it's all going to come out there because other stuff is happening. You know, you you see when we get to the economics and all that stuff. Okay, so that's it for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs> Bye.